So, Chris, a short time now to go between the, for the fight between Jazza and your mm -hmm. kid, Josh Whale. How's Josh been looking? Well, it looks fantastic. I mean, I've got to be honest. You know, I mean, everybody in British boxing knows Josh Whale and they know he's got a terrific engine. But I, ju I just think he's looking best he's ever looked. He's probably matured through all the hard fights he's had. And that's what, that's what it's probably took him for him to mature into the fight he is now. But, I mean, he's moving his head brilliantly. There's no boxer in Britain can work harder than him. There's no boxer in Britain fitter. I know what they say about Jazza, about him running hills. Makes no difference when Jazz uh, when when Jazza runs them hills. Won't get him out of trouble with Josh Whale. He won't be able to keep with Josh Whale. And I'm looking forward to the fight. It's going to be a fantastic fight. But uh, Josh really does look special at the moment. Do you think a lot of people underestimate Josh as well? Because he's had those setbacks in the past when he probably took fights too early, and now you know he's matured and he's a lot younger than people actually think he is. Yeah, I mean, he's in his mid twenties. He's just twenty-six. Um, he, yeah, he took he took fights, but I mean, everybody calls them setbacks, but they were losses. But look who they were taught, you know, Matthew Marsh and you know people like that. You know, look look who he's been in with is Craig Lyons and Isham Pickering, Willie Casey, Kid Gallard, Stuart Hall. I mean, who else at twenty-six has been in with that kind of uh, array of talent? You know, he's fought everybody that is, and every one of them's had an hard fight with him. Uh, you know, injuries has been his main problem and that, that's why he's been losing fights but I, I think I think time's right for this kid now to, to show that he's more than one dimensional that you know he won junior ABAs he didn't do that because by brute force he did it because he was a really good boxer fighting like Sir George Groves in amateurs I mean that's that's the kind of kid he was he was a good boxer who developed this style of a fighter but ultimately he, he's more than one dimensional he can box as well that's something we're going to see in this fight that's something he's going to need to do, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, Jazza Dickens is no pushover. Uh, his fight with Kid Gallard, he would, he would uh, at times giving Gallard a boxing lesson. But uh, this is 12 rounds, this is championship distance, and Josh has been there many times. And in fact, as young as 20 year old, he was doing 10 rounders, area titles, and people like Matthew Marsh at 20 year old. Jazz has not really been there. I mean, most of his lasted were eight rounds. And that was the first time he'd ever really been tested. You can, you can't really class fights like Di Davis. He's not a bad fighter, but it's not. They're not. The levels aren't compatible. It's just not the same level of opponent. Now, in terms of this fight as well, it's in Liverpool, so Jazz has got home advantage. But in some ways, does that help you rather than him? Yeah, it don't, it don't matter to Josh. Josh is like you know, like Tyrone have stood behind you. They're not bothered where they fight, they're not bothered who they fight, they'll fight anybody. Uh, what you find is that most people really want to avoid them if they can, and I'm sure Jazza, I mean, Jazza was matched with, with Josh earlier in an English title uh, English title fight, and he pulled out. So, you know, I think Josh Whale's one of them fights you take, if you have to take it, home advantage means nothing to Josh Whale, and, uh, you know, it, it's a boxing ring, it doesn't matter where you, where you put that ring. And I think there'll be a lot of pressure on Jazza, probably. It may, may be more detrimental to Jazza that he's going to be in front of a big home crowd and, and it's up to him to perform. Now, before he was with yourself, mm -hmm. Josh boxed for the British title against Gavin MacDonald last year. Yeah. A lot of people felt he won, but yeah. he was scored as a draw. So do you think in some ways if he wins this fight, that's kind of like you know sealing the deal for something he should have had already? Yeah, I mean, everybody there thought he'd won. I mean, you know, all the commentators, the scorecards, everybody had him winning against Gavin McDonald. It's probably a fight, you know, if Gavin McDonald goes on and wins European, you know, uh, that, that challenge is out there. Gavin knows that Josh wants to fight him again. There's no reason that Gavin shouldn't fight him and give him another chance, uh, you know. And, uh, you know, I, th I think the British title fight for most of the, 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 the kids is the route they want to go. It's the belt they want to win. It's the title they want to achieve, you know. You know, he's, he's the British champion in waiting because ultimately he did beat Gavin McDonald. In terms of you yourself as well, you've had British cha champions in the past, like mm -hmm. Mark Hobson, etc. How proud would you be if you, you know if Josh pulls this off? Well, the thing, the thing about Josh is, uh, although I've, this is the first time I've managed him, I managed his brother. And, and obviously I'm involved in his training, uh, but uh, I managed his brother. But before that, him and Tyrone boxed out of the same amateur gyms for many, many years. So we've worked together for, for you know, there's pictures in there of him in with, with my ex-champions like James Aaron, Mark Ups and Dale Robinson, where he was uh, in the ring, at, you know, with the belts and stuff. So I've been involved with uh, Josh since he was a little kid, really. So for me, it'd be, you know, it'd be a proud moment. Both personally and professionally then. 
Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm close to his family, and that we have been, you know, we've we've been out for meals and stuff many times. There's been arguments, there's been fallouts, but you know, that's boxing. But uh, you know, we're, we're, everything at the moment is, you know, hunky dory. Everything's great. Training's going great, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this one. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Andy.